Hey, I'm Bradley Jacobs, a senior editor at Us Weekly, and this is Us Must, a look at what's new, what's hot, and what's not in entertainment this week. First up, Grey Gardens, a made-for-HBO movie that feels as good as anything you would see on the silver screen. This is an ambitious and true story that chronicles two of Jackie Kennedy Onassis's most obscure relatives, Big Edie, played by Jessica Lange, and Little Edie, her daughter, played by Drew Barrymore. They evolved from 1930s society darlings to recluses in their increasingly decrepit home in East Hampton, Long Island. Over time, the feisty pair are threatened, yet never destroyed by men, money troubles, and a deep codependency. With so much ground to cover, Grey Gardens focuses more on gossip than psychological insight. For the most part, the tactic works, as evidenced by a delicious scene between the pair and Jackie O, who's played here by Jean Triplehorn. And while Lang glows, the film belongs to Drew Barrymore, who gives her most nuanced performance yet in a role she was born to play. She was gorgeous. Edie had everything. She doesn't remember what she was. Expect an Emmy nomination for our dear Drew. Also, some less good news in TV. There's a new animated comedy called Sit Down, Shut Up from the creator of the sublime Arrested Development. We expected more from this series, which centers on a bunch of buffoonish teachers at a Florida high school. Sadly, even with gung-ho star power from the likes of Jason Bateman and Will Arnett, the show is willfully disappointing. In the first very unfunny lark, the gang spars over, wait for it, a job cut? Though education is ripe for satire, this smarmy show lacks wit and even one endearing character. Next up, the latest Seth Rogen movie comes to the big screen, Observe and Report. The pudgy sweetheart jumps to the dark side as Ronnie, a mall cop who goes to bloody extremes to rid his shopping center of a flasher. While the uneven black comedy has some big laughs, and watching Ronnie stalk a pretty saleswoman played by Anna Faris leads to some uncomfortable chuckles, Rogan fans may be disappointed that the film's more like the anarchy-filled Reno 911 than the gentle knocked up. And be warned, the flasher goes full frontal. And finally, new on DVD this week, Doubt. With five Oscar nominations, including one for all four main characters, this stage adaptation follows a Catholic school principal, played by Meryl Streep, who manipulates a naive sister, that's Amy Adams, to oust a priest she suspects of pedophilia. He's played by Philip Seymour Hoffman. Set in 1964, the drama features a terrific turn by Philip Seymour Hoffman, but Meryl lays it on a little thick as a wound up nun. The best performance of all comes from Viola Davis, who plays the alleged victim's mother, whose response to Streep's revelation about her son and the priest is absolutely gripping. You hurt my son to get your way. You have no right to act on your own. That scene is maybe the best five minutes in filmmaking of all of last year. This is Bradley Jacobs, and we'll be back next week with more Us Must. In the meantime, all these reviews and more can be found in the latest issue of Us Weekly magazine on newsstands now.